hey you guys welcome back hey pretty chicks welcome 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 and i actually want to come in and talk to you guys real quick about three things that you need to be doing if you are a nine to five entrepreneur okay if you're a nine to five femalepreneur if you're a nine to five entrepreneur you need to be doing three things okay first things first you need to be utilizing your weekends okay depends i'm saying weekends because i'm being very generic but if you have a day off you need to be utilizing your day off if you have a weekend off you need to be using your weekend you need to box out four hours yes four four hours to focus and work on your business now what you want to do is you want to break that up into spurts of 20 minutes because it is a research known fact when you are watching this video it may be different but as of right now in the world right now a lot of our attention spans the adult attention span is 20 minutes so i want you to focus on one thing in your business for 20 minutes boom take a five minute break get back to it another 20 minutes okay and you want to box out four hours on the weekend to focus on your business i do not know your business i don't know where you are in your business if you want to go ahead and have a coaching or a brand clarity call with me go on ahead and you can go ahead and email me email me at herbizpro at gmail.com okay contact me but you need to be using four hours of your weekend or your off day to be putting in some time into your business whether that's following up with clients whether that's writing a blog post whether that's creating a video like this one in the description below if you guys are looking for a content planner I got it in the description. If you guys are looking for a course to start your business in 30 days, I got it in the description. If you guys are even looking for just the six steps to starting your business, the six steps, it's right here. And you want that in the description, you guys can go ahead and get it. So that's the first thing is you need to be boxing out four hours on the weekend or your off day, boom. The second thing you guys need to be do is when you are working on your business, always have a to-do list, okay? And it's always a three to-do. Okay, don't put more than three things on your to-do list in a day or in a four-hour sitting because unless you're a pro at this in majority, if you're looking at this, you're probably either beginner or intermediate. You may not be at that point where you can work with more things on a list. So I'm always going to suggest the three to-do. You want to do three things that will effectively help your business right now. Okay, don't do things that are not pertinent to your business. If you need to be working on a blog post versus choosing the color for your logo, guess which one I believe would be better. You need to be focused on creating that blog post. You can always pick a, a color for your business and let's be real. I'm being honest with you. Your business colors may change. So don't get hung up on those things when you could be creating content that will be marketing you and marketing your business. So always have a three to-do list. Write down the three things. If I were you, you eat the frog first, meaning you do the hardest thing first on the list. So say, for example, I may have edited a video. I may have write a blog post and I may have reply to a customer now all of those things are important especially replying to the customer but me replying to that customer is going to probably take five seconds so which one is the toughest for me would be editing that video so i would do that first edit that video then the next thing i would say okay writing a blog post or contacting my customer i will contact my customer next then i will go ahead and write the blog post because a blog post is an individual thing just boom 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 write it up Let's do this. So always have a three to do. Then the last thing I'm going to suggest for you is if you are a nine to five entrepreneur, seven to seven, whatever your hours are, if you are work, if you work, if you're employed, you have an employer that, that pays your bills and you're trying to start your business. I want you to always have two planners. That's what I have here. Two planners. This is my business and my life planner. This is my work planner. And I have my business planner set up in three sections. One is life is at the top, business is at the bottom, and clients is always at the left. And I have life, business, and clients. And clients and business is separate only because clients are things that I'm physically taking care of my clients right now, whether that's a follow-up, whether I'm working on something with them, whether I'm going to be doing a coaching call, clients go here. Business is things that I want to do for my business um, that can be blogging, that can be a video, that can be a me up loading a new product 
it's just under the business so for example i show you guys what i did on the 20th so for my life i actually had to pay a bill and i had to go to the cleaners then for my business i actually had to um i had to update one of my accounts i had to remove um ads from etsy and I wanted to create two products. Um, and I wanted to create a meetup group, which I did. So if you guys are looking at this right now, in the description below, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the meetup group to this description. And if you are in the LA area, I am going to be having meetups once a month, either in person or a conference call where we're going to go ahead and tackle a lot of the things that we look at and or review when we are starting our businesses. And then for clients, what it is, is that I followed up with one client. Um, I actually hopped on a call with another client and I'm actually, I completed a project for another client. I completed his website. His website is up and running. He's ready to go. He's very happy. Okay. So that is something that you need to get as a nine to five entrepreneur. So that was my, this one is my work. Um, this one is my business and my life planner. And then this one is my work planner so as you can see this is my work planner pretty much set up kind of the same clients things that I need to do and of course I have my RDO which is my regular day off blocked out and on that day I actually do things that have to do with my business so one let's go over this again one for the weekend and or your day off you need to take four hours out of that to work on your business okay Two, you need a to-do list. When you're writing your to-do list, make sure it's a three to-do. One, two, three things you need to do that is beneficial to your business. Always do the hardest thing first. And then number three, you want to go ahead, go ahead and have two planners. You want to have one pl planner for your work, if it requires, and you want to have one planner for sure for your life and for your business. And you can actually have them together like I showed you guys. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Remember, pretty chicks invest. Later.